What is going on, everybody? In today's video, we're going to be going over the top pro player class setups for the new Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I'm a seven-time Call of Duty champion with over 10-plus years of pro player experience, and you guys are going to enjoy today's video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All righty, let's go ahead and go through the best class setups for Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 6. These are going to be competitive class setups, but they're also going to be very, very good for public match. They're just not going to have suppressors or things that are really going to help you stay hidden while playing those public matches. I'm going to go through two SMGs and three assault rifles. Again, these are the class setups that everybody's been running right now. I've been personally frying with them, having a great time playing SD wagers or eights um, in that competitive side, getting you guys ready for rank play. Go ahead and start with the first gun on the list. It's going to be the PP919. Uh, this is an SMG, and it is absolutely filthy. Some of these guns also, to note, have been GA'd by some pro players. But hey, guess what? We're a content creator. It doesn't stop us from using them in wagers or in eights or in public matches. Uh, for the PP919, you're going to go ahead and for the muzzle, put on the ported compensator that has first shot recoil control, horizontal recoil control, and vertical recoil. So it helps that SMG have a little more range. This thing is a laser beam from all ranges. The reinforced barrel is going to be what you're going to want to put on. That has the damage range and bullet velocity. For the fast mag, uh, two is going to be your third one. It just helps with ADS, reload quickness, and sprint to fire speed, which is kind of insane to have for a magazine. But hey, I'm not complaining. I want this gun to be as fast as possible. And like I said, I've been frying with it so far. Um, for the rear grip, you're going to have the ergonomic grip, which gives slide and dive to fire speed as well as ADS speed. Uh, then for the stock, you're going to have the balanced stock. Like I said, overall, this gun's very fast mobility, has a very fast time to kill, good straight speed, and also as a laser beam. Uh, it's a very good SMG, very consistent. Um, and then as far as the class goes, I have the 9mm pistol. Um, you guys can take this as well if you want. The Kepler Microflex uh, Suppressor Long Barrel Extended Mag and CQC Grip. I think this is actually my pub class, so don't take that. Take off this professor uh, suppressor and put on the ported muzzle. But this right here will work for you as far as comp goes. Then as far as the tacticals and lethals, I have the Concussion and Simtex. Some people use a Frag Grenade. It's really personal preference. And then on this class setup, I have the Perk Greed selected. Um, and you can, you know, play around with this. You don't have to have dexterity. You can put on maybe flak jacket or tactical mask, whatever you prefer. Um, just depending on how you're playing a situation, whether it's hard point or S and D and you're rushing to a spot playing somewhere different. Um, you know, you can get creative with this. You can, you know, select your perk grade for any perk that you want. Um, like I said, and get creative, but I have dexterity and ninja fast hands for perk two, and then double time for perk three is a lot quicker of a class that I use kind of to get around the map. And then I obviously have the trophy system to help me when I get pushed up in those positions. Um, that way I can't get tacticals thrown at me. Um, for the second SMG, it's going to be the Jackal PDW. And this gun's a little bit different. It's got a little bit faster time to kill up close. It's like a three shot up close, but it kind of lacks in the range department. But overall, this thing is disgusting as well. And, uh, you know, I, I'll be changing back and forth between these guns. For the muzzle, I got the ported compensator. Uh, again, it's the same one as the last one. Just helps with that recoil control. For the barrel, we have reinforced. Again, this is just helping with bullet velocity and damage range. Uh, you're going to want this as a submachine gun because you're going to feel that it has a drop off at certain ranges. Um, for the foregrip, we have on the Ranger foregrip. Again, this helps with sprinting, move speed, and horizontal recoil control. As a submachine gun, you're going to want the fastest mobility uh, and time to kill. And as far as like consistency goes with the bullet velocity, for the rear grip, it seems pretty consistent across the SMGs. The ergonomic grip just allows everything to be a lot quicker. Uh, then for the stock, we have the balanced stock. It packs a little bit more of a punch while playing some of these certain maps. And then as far as the pistol goes, it's going to be the 9mm, same thing here. Concussion and Simtex, like I said, or Frag, really is personal preference. Like I said, you can get kind of creative with the perk greed here as far as Dexterity, Ninja, uh, Double Time, you know, Flak Jacket, Attack Mask, whatever you prefer. Uh, you can kind of create that however you would like. Um, for the ARs here, and like I said, some of these ARs have actually been GA'd, but I'm still rocking with them right now. Um, you know, this is just something that the pro players are saying are a little too OP, but if you're playing, you know, casually or you're playing SND right now, some of these aren't gone just yet. Um, they may get banned over time, but for now, you know, the pro players are kind of trying to figure out what they, um, are allowing or what they're not going to allow. From what I've noticed, every pro player and myself have used gunfighter on your AR. It just seems extremely OP. This is a thing in Modern Warfare 2019 where you could run like eight attachments on a gun. Uh, it, like I said, it just allows you to, you know, have the, a ton of mobility, a super fast ADS and really make it like a super do it all gun, uh, which I think is pretty OP for, for the assault rifle players. But we have the model L here. We got the Kepler micro, uh, flex. This is all personal preference, depending on what you're going to want to use. I like this. It's like the most traditional red dot compared to other games. For the compensator, we have actually compensator. 
Or for the muzzle, we have compensator. Which again, just helps with vertical recoil control. Allows you to just pull down on that stick a little bit easier. For the barrel, we have reinforced barrel. Again, bullet velocity, damage range. Uh, vertical foregrip. This just has horizontal recoil control. The extended mag, just the first one. Uh, quick draw for the uh, rear grip, which is, again, obviously helps with ADS speed. Balance stock here, which helps with strafing, hip fire, and ADS movement speed, which, again, is just going to allow you to feel more fluent while running around playing the game. And then for the fire mods, is pretty OP. Uh, for the overpressured rounds, you're going to want to have that because it gets you bullet velocity. So when you're taking those super long range gunfights, it doesn't feel like you're getting, you know, desync or some of your bullets aren't connecting. All your bullets and shots are hitting and connecting extremely well. And for this, again, we just have the pistol uh, as well as a trophy system. Again, concussion, Simtex, or frag, whatever it may be. And then you have to kind of get, you know, wise here. If you're playing SD, you've got to have an engine on. Otherwise, you're too loud. Fast hands and double time. Or, you know, if you're playing respawn and you, you know, you're playing a little bit slower, but you're probably going to be getting sound hoard or people are going to be listening to you. You got to put on flag jacket or attack mask. That's the only negative with having gunfighter. Obviously, you only have a smaller selection of perks. But again, I've been fine with this class setup so far. We've been doing our thing. So I'm going to stay true to it for now. For the next AR we're going to have, this is if these ARs do go through and get um, GA'd. We got the Amez right now, and this gun is disgusting. All the ARs, honestly, all the guns I've used so far are really, really good. Again, got the Kepler Micro Reflex. You can get creative with this. You can go back and forth with the Merlin Mini. Um, you can, you know, add the round sights. Really all personal preference. This is just what feels the most consistent for me. You got the Ported Compensator. Again, the recoil control. The Reinforced Barrel. Again, with the Bullet Velocity Damage Range. Uh, vertical Foregrip. A lot of these... Classes kind of stay consistent throughout. The extended mag obviously give you extra ammo. Uh, ergonomic grip again just kind of speeds everything up. The balance stock again speeds everything up. Other than those recoil springs, which are going to help with this gun to be an absolute laser beam from all ranges. The last gun that we're going to want to show you guys is going to be the XM4. Uh, this sight is a little bit different. I run the Merlin Mini on this one. Again, you can kind of go to whatever you please. Uh, for the ported compensator, we're going to have that as the muzzle. Again, recoil control, reinforced barrel with that damage range of bullet velocity. There's really not a better option here. You're not going to use a headshot multiplier barrel. You don't need a jumping one. Um, the long barrel and the uh, gain twist barrel are just exactly what the reinforced barrel is. So obviously, you're just going to use one that gives you both. Uh, for the under barrel, again, vertical. I mean, you can go through here and play around with this, but... This has been the most consistent for me so far to help with that horizontal recoil. Yeah, you could add the precision foregrip, but I think overall the vertical grip is plenty. Doesn't give you any cons and allows you to beam across the map. And extended mag here, uh, commando grip, which is going to help with that ADS speed. Like I said, you can kind of get creative with it, but it's an AR. You're not going to be sliding and diving as much as you are posted up with the ADS and sprint to fire speed. Um, and then for the stock, we have the combat stock, which just helps with flinch resistance and aim walking movement speed. So you can kind of pre-aim and ADS and get those kills and search and destroy without catching that flinch other than the recoil springs as well here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are all the pro class setups that I've been using so far. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, comment down below what other types of videos you guys would like to see. Subscribe so you never miss a video. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.